Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to configure a Windows Server 2025 virtual machine. And we're gonna be doing this using VMware Workstation Pro. VMware Workstation is a popular option for managing virtual machines on computers. In the past, we've used Microsoft Hyper-V a lot, and we wanted to show you guys an alternative method for running virtual machines on your computer. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Alright guys, so before we jump onto the computer portion, if you have yet to actually download or install VMware Workstation, we have a video covering exactly how to do just that. And you can find that right here. Alright guys, so here we are inside of VMware Workstation. We'll just make that bigger. And we're just going to start with creating a new virtual machine. And for the purpose of this tutorial, let's go with the typical configuration. Although if you want, you could go with the advanced options, which will give you controls over the SCSI controller type, virtual disk type, and compatibility with older VMware products. Let's go ahead and hit next. From here, we have the option to install an operating system later, but in most cases, we're gonna to want to load an operating system. In this case, we're using Windows Server 2025, and if you wanted to get started with the evaluation ISO, you can find that on Microsoft's Insider page. We'll leave a link for that in the description. Note that the evaluation version of Windows Server is not the full version, and if you're interested in purchasing a full licensed version of Windows Server or other software, be sure to check those links in the description. Okay, so I already have my ISO file downloaded. I'm gonna click Browse, and I'm gonna go ahead and proceed with the Windows Server 2025 Preview X64. I'll click Open, and we can click Next. Now, we're actually prompted for a Windows product key. Now, in my case, or maybe in your case, we're not gonna enter it at this step, as we can actually just enter it directly from the Windows operating system once we're loaded in. It is important, though, to select the correct version. I'm gonna check this against the file that I loaded. And we can see here, this is the file. In my case, I'm gonna go for the standard installation. And we also have options for the core, or if you want the desktop experience, you can just leave it as standard or data center. Next up, we get to add our name and a password, which is optional. I'll click next. This is a message about the Windows product key. We'll go ahead and hit yes. Okay, and then we can name our virtual machine here. I'll leave that as the default and I'll press next. Here we can specify our virtual disk capacity. Now it's gonna have a recommended size here. I'm gonna actually make mine a little bit smaller just so I'm not taking up so much disk space. But in most cases, you can leave this as the recommended size if you'd like. We'll hit next. And let's go ahead and click finish. We'll click okay on this pop-up. And now we're gonna press a key to boot from the CD. That's gonna get us started with our Windows Server configuration. All right, and we're installing Windows Server. We'll come back once this is done, as this is going to take a little bit. All right, guys, and we are now inside of Windows Server 2025. At any time, we can right-click on our new virtual machine, and we can click Settings. This is gonna give us different controls, such as our processor settings, hard disk. Again, we can adjust our ISO image file. We can also access our floppy, our network adapter, and other additional settings as well. Since we installed Windows Server 2025, I'm in my server manager. I can close that to go to my desktop as this is the version of the operating system with the desktop experience. We hope you guys enjoy VMware Workstation. It's very easy to set up and configure your virtual machines directly inside of this software. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any suggestions of your own, we'd love to know what those are. And lastly, a like and subscribe goes a long way in supporting our channel and would be greatly appreciated. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.